Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Flat Top Friday, and we're gonna do Spec Check with Brandon Soriano. Whoa! Woo! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. Intro there. It felt good? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, make sure you uh, like and subscribe and comment. Uh, every Tuesday, we pick our favorite comment, and uh, you win a free T-shirt. And also, watch out for uh, scammers. Scammers, yeah. Telegram no is a lie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it, needs to, it is that serious. Yeah. Say that again. Yeah. <laughs> Telegram is a lie. They keep no. like come. It's not just our channel too. This it's is across yeah. like all of music YouTube. Every yeah, music channel is getting hit with this. It's so weird. So yeah, be careful, but um, yeah, you could win through us. Yes. <laughs> that would be a lot better. Jen yeah. will message you, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. Telegram. Well, it's Flat Top Friday, yes. uh, one of my favorite days here at Norm's, and uh, this one is so cool, man. This is so This cool. is a beautiful guitar. And it's old, from 1934. It's a Martin 018K. Ooh. I know. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> this guitar is pretty cool. Don't laugh, it's really serious, Jen. <laughs> Sorry. This, this, <laughs> this guitar is pretty cool. Um, you can first see this model, the 018K. You can find them all the way back to 1918. But uh, they first didn't properly catalog the guitar until 1923. So there were a few Wranglers uh, early on in those days. This one is a 1934, which is actually the last year of production for this model. So it ran from 1918 to 1934. And essentially what it is, is a single 018, um, but the K stands for Koa, Koa Wood, which, uh, Oh my god. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> the Koa wood is really just nuts, dude. It's it's really crazy. So the naming designation, let's start with 018. Uh, single O refers to the body size. Martin's, uh, the first half of the name is the size of the body, so five is going to be a real small guitar. Then you have single O, uh, double O is a little bigger, triple O a little bigger, OM is the same as triple O with a longer scale length, and then you start getting into D for Dreadnought and stuff like that. Um, actually, by the time this guitar came out in 34, they were just beginning to experiment with Dreadnoughts. So this is a small body guitar for the time. Uh, the 18 part of the name in 018 would usually be the wood designations. So a regular 18 style Martin has a spruce top with mahogany back and sides. Obviously this is an 018K, so they substituted the spruce and mahogany just for koa all the way around. Uh, however, the neck is still mahogany and the fingerboard and bridge are ebony, which would be standard for a regular 018. Um, so you've got the small body, you've got koa, which is pretty light um, and has a very, Michael was saying before, a very mellow sound. Uh, that I really like, but Koa also carries a good amount of attack, so if you wanted to dig in, you could still get that with this guitar. This model in particular, this uh, example I should say, has some belt buckle rash on the back. Nothing crazy for a nearly 100 year old guitar. It looks like it maybe had a neck set at some point, but it was done really well. And uh, with these models, you would actually be seeing them at the time, both in Spanish style, which is this guitar, uh, where you hold it upright and fret with your fingers and all that, or in Hawaiian style, which is what we now know as like lap steel guitars. So a lot of them would be fretless with really high action on the strings, and uh, you would use a slide on those guitars. So. so cool. This is definitely a, a rare bird. It's a really fun guitar. The case is not original. It's probably 60s, I would say. I mean, it doesn't get much more 60s than that. So, you know. <laughs> um, overall, a really killer guitar. Mike is going to show you Let's do how it, it works. Thank and you, Brandon. Uh, I'm going to move this case. Thank you, Mike. Thank All you, right. Jen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a really cool guitar. It caught my eye as soon as you came in. Uh, it's got a different sound. Let's check it out.
So a really kind of mellow sound comes out of this guitar. Uh, let's try some other stuff. Um, try first position. So there you have it from 1934. It's a Martin 018K, really original type of guitar. And check them all out at normanjarguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. Yeah, nice guitar. It's beautiful. Sounds great, too. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, more, 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 I, more. I wish. <laughs> I wish I knew more. He's about to do more. No. I We're just gonna wait here until he does more. Yes. It's a nice guitar. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. All right, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs>